How's it going guys? Right, back for 2012 uh, with some more reviews. So yeah, Happy New Year to everyone out there. Um, now, I'm going to make a, a, uh, yeah, a New Year's resolution, which this year I'm going to play more of all the stuff that I've got because I am bad for buying things and then just basically going, oh, I've got that now, I leave it on the shelf and then I'm a happy boy. Um, so I do, sometimes it's the thrill of collecting more than and the ownership rather than the actual playing of it. So I've got a lot of things that have just sat there that I've never actually played. So today we're going to have a look at one of these items. Um, so that's one thing I'm going to do. Um, now over Christmas I have uh, I'll say 99% now finished my games room. It is ready to go. Um, and soon I'm going to do a games room tour. Um, I've pretty much just about hit 900 subscribers. So I'm going to wait I think till 1000 subscribers and then I'm going to do the games room tour. Um, I actually have two games rooms so I might actually wait, uh, well give me the time to get another 100 subscribers then I should have basically both games rooms ready to go so that would be pretty cool to do both of them. Um, so that's that's where I'm at with that. Uh, so yes 100 more subscribers and then I promise you'll get a badass uh, games room tour which really is going to be cool. Uh, I've had a couple of friends around so far and everyone's loving it so yeah it really is kicking ass. Right let's get on with the review. So today we're going to have a look at the 1979 Microvision. Now I've had this thing now probably for about nine months and I have never even turned it on. So um, today is the day where I lose my Microvision virginity uh, and I'm going to share that with you on camera. Right, so this is either going to be a really short review because it doesn't work, or B, we're going to play it and we're going to see what it's like. So yeah, this came out in 1979 by the classic Milton and Bradley of Vectrex fame, um, and this was the world's first interchangeable handheld console. Uh, yeah, way before the Game Boy, there was the Microvision. Uh, now, it didn't last very long. Um, and it was very prone to breaking even back in the day. Um, there was only 13 games that ever came out for it uh, and I have five of them. No, six of them actually, so we're going to uh, yeah, have a look at those. So, uh, pretty big box that it comes in. Uh, so let's open this up and have a look at the actual unit itself. Right, so there is the pocket, uh, yes, the, the, the pocket console itself. This is a huge unit. I have big hands, this thing dwarfs them, um, like even two mega hands around it and it is still, it's it's a beast of a, th of a system. Um, you would definitely need some jeans of 1994 to uh, get in the back of the, you know, put that in your pocket. It is huge, it dwarfs the Game Boy, it dwarfs anything, it is the biggest handheld console I think they've ever made. Even, it's... Actually, I should go and get the links and um, and compare it side by side. Links one to this, which is bigger? Hang on, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to grab a link. I'm going to find out myself which is bigger. Right, I'm back. I, could, I actually really wanted to see <laughs> now which is bigger. So, links one, the beast versus Milton Bradley's Microvision, which is bigger? Oh, it's down to the links. That's it, Atari fans, by half an inch. The Lynx is bigger than the Microvision, but you can see it is a seriously big unit. Uh, not quite as big as the Lynx, but damn close to it. Oh, I thought it was going to be bigger than the Lynx then. Right, so anyway, back to the system itself. Uh, in the box here, which is a uh, lovely kind of uh, red uh, fluffy velour, uh, which you don't get these days on console boxes, Shame. Uh, it comes with a lovely leatherette pouch as well, um, which I've tried to get this thing in before, and I remember it being an absolute bitch to get in and out of. Let's try to see if we can get it in here now. <laughs> Probably not. But yeah, really rubbish pouch that it came with. Yeah, if we can get it in, I don't know, it's really tight at the bottom. <laughs> Full force, full force on it there to get it in. I nearly got it in. No, probably not going to get it out. Anyway, there you go. So that is the uh, yes, the stunner there in its leatherette pouch. If we can actually get it out now, we can. All right. So uh, in the box then, 
we've got, this is quite cool, the uh, 90 day limited warranty card, it still came with as well there. Um, <laughs> this is how bad this system was. Um, it's basically a fault identification uh, form, so you could send it back within 90 days. Uh, so we've got dead unit, no signal at all, lights faulty, uh, sound fault, uh, control key not functioning, Damage missing, compo uh, missing component or other or broken uh, battery clip. So yes, as you can see, it, they didn't really have a lot of faith in it, um, and yeah, they only gave it 90 days warranty at the time. But that's kind of cool that that was in there. Uh, also comes with the original instructions as well, telling you all about it. Right, so let's actually uh, we'll have a quick look at the system itself. So. Um, it, yeah, as I said, it is the first, uh, the the world's first interchangeable game system uh, or portable one. So you, if I can remember rightly, you should. That's it. This clips off the front there, and this comes off. Now that reveals here. That's your actual sort of um, LCD screen, or yeah, screen. Um, Actually, is it or isn't it? No, sorry, my mistake. That's the LCD screen. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about there. That's where you control, so that's basically where the buttons go. Um, and then on the top here, these are the cartridges itself. So effectively, this is just like a, a keyboard back and a screen. And all the actual the game cartridge itself were were on these little sort of yeah control sort of cartridges, as it were. Um, on this, we can get this working. There we go. So the actual top itself had this little spring loaded. Um, that's your sort of you, all your connectors were hidden behind that, and then all you do get your cartridge yourself, put a new one in the top, click it on, and away it goes. So flip this over. So we've got our a lot of the games are quite like sort of breakout um, that sort of thing. So you, you've got your your paddle controller at the front there, four buttons, and then you also have I think that's your on and off switch there. As well at the base, and let's see if there's anything else. Um, there looks to be a bit of a contrast switch on the back there as well. I've got the uh, original serial number and stuff. Uh, so right, let's actually get some batteries in this thing, and let's actually see if it works. Well, that's kind of cool. This is the uh, if we can actually see this on camera or not. Probably not. No. Oh, I was trying to take it out. This is the original battery uh, card. There you go, you can see it now. The original battery card there as well. How to uh, put the batteries in. That's kind of cool, that's still in there. Right. So this takes uh, two of the 9 volt um, D cell batteries. Is it D cell? I can't remember. Anyway, the 9 volt batteries. Let's put it in. And if we can actually get them in. <laughs> there we go. One and two. If that's worked or not. Again, this unit now is is over thirty years old, and the screens themselves they get screen rot. So there isn't actually too many of these around in a way because it's just one of those things that the screens do actually just rot away, um, which is a real shame. That yeah, this is going to be. A point in the t in the world where there's none of these left um, because the screens will all literally have just rotted. So come on, you bugger! <laughs> Not the easiest of things to get in. These connectors at the back are a real bitch. <laughs> one's just connect. One's getting squished up. Hold it up. Sorry about this. Should <laughs> I wanted to put it at the. Uh, there we go. I think I've got it. Have I got it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. Let's force this one up. This one connector is just being a bitch. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> oh, you shit. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to have to get some technical support on this one. Just find a tool to uh, hold it back. Got anything. Use a pair of scissors. Again, sorry once again, not a great video if I'm uh, fiddling around with batteries for three or four minutes. 
Come on. <laughs> it's in. All right. <sighs> right. Now we found that after, you know, it's taking three minutes to fix the batteries in that this thing doesn't work. So this is it. Fingers crossed time now. Uh, 30 years in the making. Will this thing still work? It works. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay then. So, blockbuster. Um, and I haven't got a clue how to start these machines up. So I'm just going to... Um, if we didn't get it going at all, or oh, the screen is dead, and that's actually not what it's meant to look like. I don't know yet. <laughs> Something, oh, there we go. So, uh, I think we can, that's it, you can connect, you can choose sort of what type of game you want. Again, haven't got a clue how to start it at all. I'm just going to hit some random buttons. Here we go. Right, so this is like, oh, oh. <laughs> Kind of like an Arkanoid sort of win. So, so far, the, yeah, the screen is actually all good and no rot. Um, although I do suck balls at this game. <laughs> it's really fast. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ugh. Not too bad, actually. <laughs> oh, pardon, I really do blow. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, that's Blockbuster. We'll move on to a few of the other games, I think. But yeah, we're well happy that actually the machine does work. And yes, the screen is not rotten away, so that's cool. So, that's Blockbuster. Then some of the other games that I've got for the system include <laughs> the almighty bowling. So, which is kind of cool. You know, different, uh, different coloured units for the front. There, again, all on luscious velour. Sort of a touchy of feely effect in grey. Uh, I've got pinball as well. Use that. And these have all got the instructions and stuff. Um, I actually, I picked. I got this from France uh, when I got it. Again, these are all in really, really nice condition. Hardly really been used by the looks of things. Space Blitz. And the classic Connect 4 as well. Could be could be a technical one that one. Right, let's go with I want to play bowling. So I'm gonna play bowling first, I think. So as I said, yeah, only 13 of these games were ever released for it. So click it again. And that hopefully should release that. Pop out the top. And then just slide the next one in. And away you go. And uh, yeah, that's portable gaming of the 70s. Right, let's turn this on then. See what bowling's like. See if we can get it going. <laughs> Might need a uh, <laughs> blow the cartridge. <laughs> Possibly, yes. <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, it might be on now. Okay. Right. Uh, again, don't know how to actually realistically control this thing. Oh, my ball's come down. That's kind of cool. And now do so we just press this button to shoot? Yep. Ooh, one pin down. <laughs> so uh, let's see if we can actually, can. we might be able to control the ball a bit. But uh, oh, there we go. Picked up a spare. Game on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's how we can, uh, not the most playable in a way, but uh, kind of cool. Right, let's shoot again. Whee! Strike! <laughs> I'm not a bad bowler in real life, so uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to get a strike there. Right, what else we got here? No sound though, on this one. Ooh. Oh, 710, split. I don't think you can pick up any conversions on this, on this. I really don't think so. Oh, he picks it up and he shoots. No, he missed. If it was a real game, that could have shot over. Right, so that's bowling. Again, uh, shame there's no sound on that one. So if we can pull it out again. These are pretty hard to get out. <laughs> they really are. Stiff as anything. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, you can see the back of the boxes on these. They are all basically um, 
yeah, pretty much the same kind of game, just sort of spliced around a bit. So space blitz there. That's connect for <laughs> shooting star, which looks a bit like, yeah, kind of a shooting arcanoidy kind of thing. And pinball, which again is kind of like, yeah, a breakout arcanoid game, just with spots in, in the middle of the screen. So let's go with, hmm. Um, let's go with Connect 4. Let's see what that's like. Everyone knows what Connect 4 is. So it'll be interesting to see what they actually did with this. And it's from Milton and Bradley. They made Connect 4. So if this isn't good, I don't know what is. Oh, we've got beeps. Right. Again, I don't know if this is like two player simultaneous or if it's. Uh, there you go. Oh, you can play one there, A and B. Um, how the hell to get this thing started? Hit random buttons. <laughs> One player, two player. I just want one player. Mm. <laughs> Hello? Computer. I want the computer to play. Oh, there we go. All right, okay. So, I don't know if you can see this or not. You can kind of like move the... Uh, there we go. How the heck do you get it down? Oh, there you go. All right. Ah, oh, okay. So at the top. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, camera angle on this. Really bad. Have you got to play as the computer and? <laughs> oh, I think yeah. I've got it in two-player mode there. So you can uh, you can kind of see how um, you each get different uh, different pieces. So one's a complete square block, and one's like two holes in the block itself. Let's just get Connect 4 and see what happens. There we go. <laughs> Some amazing sound effects there. Right, so that was Connect 4. Um, so yeah, just a quick look today at the Microvision. Um, it's pretty cool, in a way. Um, again, it's a, a good piece of uh, video game history, again, because it is, um, you know, the first um, interchangeable handheld game that was ever released uh, basically in the world. So you know, I said, you know, there were the Nintendo were coming out with their game and watches and there was loads of the, you know, kind of crappy LCD games. Um, but this one, you know, was semi portable. Um, and yes, you could change the games. Again, if you also had a massive pocket or a huge bag to carry all the games in. Um, Yes, so that's it. So yes, thanks again for watching guys and um, yeah, Happy New Year again once you all and yes uh, 100 more subscribers then the Game Room Tour will be will be coming I promise. Alright guys, so yes catch you in the week with some more reviews. You take it easy. Thanks again. Bye That's it man. Game over man. It's game over